another one, guys. Unless it's the same one. What's up? What do you need? You need help with anything? No, man. Okay. Number's still nine one one, right? This is true. Until she's finished, yeah. This is yeah, you should probably find an interview room or something. Are you closing me out of here? So, what's going on with the uh, the shooting over in June? Do you have any answers on that? It's still under investigation, or yeah. there's an interview room right there. Okay, it's literally five feet from where they were standing. Yeah, all she had to say was, Do you want to follow me into the interview room so we can have some privacy? What is your name? My name's Anne. Anne, what is your what's your name? What's your position? I am animal control and an admin assistant. Yeah, look at the blue line. Blue line flag right there, guys. What's going on, everyone? This is Press NH Now over here today in Pittsfield, New Hampshire at the Pittsfield, New Hampshire Police Department. We're going to be conducting a First Amendment audit to see if they respect our rights to film here in public. Today's date is July 8th, 2021. Please go like, share, and subscribe to my channel at Press NH Now. I appreciate all the support. Also, check out my playlist to see some videos you may not have seen in the past. Hit that like button, everyone. Let all your friends and family know about my activism. There was a police shooting back in uh, June, I think, of the 14th of 2021. Of an individual, uh, there was a domestic violence call. And police responded, and the individual did not want to come out and he was armed and there was about a 10 hour standoff with uh, local authorities and state police SWAT team and it ended up in gunfire and the individual was uh, killed on scene. It is still under investigation and um, I'm going to come here and ask a few questions and I was actually told to come here for a couple different other reasons. So that's what we're here for guys. Enjoy the video. Monday morning, when authorities were first called to a home on Lyford Hill Road in Pittsfield for a report of a domestic disturbance. They were engaged by an armed male subject um, who was inside the residence. Um, information was relayed to the police department that allowed them to get an arrest warrant for him, um, but he refused to comply with orders to come out. Pittsfield police requested help from the regional SWAT team. The Attorney General's office says authorities worked for more than 10 hours to negotiate with the man inside the house. They've identified him as 52-year-old Anthony Hannon of Pittsfield. But around 2 in the afternoon, shots were fired between Hannon and the officers on scene. The incident ended in uh, gunfire and um, Mr. Hannon um, was shot and killed during that exchange of gunfire. Looks like that's one right there. And I literally just got here, so... Yeah, that's the police department right there. Oh, that was a quick right turn with the blinker. There's another one, guys. Unless it's the same one. So it says police vehicles only over there and the law states uh, for trespassing on the trespassing statue I think it's 635 it says um, fence in or gated which is um, your, your warning so we'll take a look at the sign here it says police vehicles only it doesn't look like it's gated it also doesn't look like and it says no authorized parking so it's not gated or fenced.
Here's your handicap accessible, accessible uh, ramp. So there's always a way around some of these things. Looks like they may have a canine vehicle over there. There he is. Looks like that's their uh, kennel for the canine. Oh, look at the blue line. Blue line flag right there, guys. Good, you? Good. What are you up to? Uh, nothing much. Can I get your name, badge number? Yeah, my name is Jake Nance. Nance? You're a sergeant, right? Yeah. Yeah. What's up? What do you need? You need help with anything? No, man. Okay. Number's still 911, right? This is true. All right. All right. Well, what are you up to today? I'll just. Just out here filming, man. Yeah. That's it. Any purpose? That's my own purpose. Just looking at the. The wildlife back here? Or? Yeah, um, I actually do have a question about the property. Okay. Um, I know the law uh, for trespassing states um, any gated or fenced area is literally trespassing warning. Okay. Um, it says authorized vehicles over there. Yeah. And uh, my question to you is um, I want to challenge that, and uh, not that I want to challenge your authority, um, but it isn't gated or fenced. Um, and, it, and there's no trespassing or restricted signs. It's literally parking enforcement for the the general public not to park back there. Yeah. Uh, what's your stance on that for me going down there and just taking a look at some of the vehicles? Not that I'll touch any. For what? For what purpose? Well, it's public property, for one. Yeah, no, I'm just, I'm just. Yeah, asking, I'm just, did I'm just. Want, did, did you want to park back here before? No, no, not at all. Um, I just no, think it's kind of weird that just. Yeah, I. I you're at. Yeah, I'm just a, uh, I'm a, I'm a journalist, okay. um, so I'm just coming out here, just kind of working on a small story about the okay. property and stuff in the public, in the police and. Um, I have no ill will or anything, you know, I yeah. just, just want to take a look at the vehicles that we pay for, uh, in, in the town of Pittsfield and, yeah. uh, you see if, here in town? I'm not going to answer that. No, I, I live in New Hampshire, but I don't live in Pittsfield now. All right. well, so, but I'm not going to touch any of the vehicles. I mean, I know you guys, you know, you could approach me and ask me what I'm doing. Yeah. Um, but I have no ill will. I'm not going to touch any of the vehicles or anything. Yeah. Um, so okay. how you doing? Can I get your name? Joe Collins? Chief of police, yeah. Chief, how you doing? What are you up to? Nothing much, man. I'm just out here doing a documentary on the police department and just doing a story. On Pittsfield specifically, or? Yeah, I'm here in town, so just a journalist. Yep. Okay. But um, I was just asking your sergeant over here um, about the sign over there. It says um, authorized police vehicles or whatever. Yeah. And uh, it's pretty much parking enforcement. And uh, the law states that if it's not gated or fenced, then it's open to the public. Um, and I was just asking him if, you know, you guys are gonna have an issue with me going down there, um, just taking a look at the vehicles, seeing if they're up to date, stuff like that, just for the public's interest. Um, Looking at the cruisers? That we pay for, yes. Yeah, absolutely. You have a problem with that? No, I don't have a problem. Okay, I, that, and that's, you know, I, I see I was being approached, so I figured I'd just yeah. talk to you guys. Um, usually if I see that sign, I kind of just walk, I look around, make sure I'm yeah. not breaking the law. No. I hope not. Um, Absolutely. So what's going on with the uh, the shooting over in June? Do you have any answers on that? That's being handled by the Attorney General. It's still under investigation? or? Yeah, it's major crime. You know, I mean, yeah, I looked at the article. It's investigation. It's not ours. Yeah. Um, so you'd have to get information from either the Attorney General or major crimes. State okay. Police. Yeah, there was, there was a lot. Um, I know they released the names of the officers and such, um, you know, obviously. And then um, so I kind of just dug into it, you know, see what's going on. And uh, that's another reason I'm here, you know, to see if you guys have any input on uh, the situation.
Yeah, I mean, we, I, I can't comment on it. Is, there, is everybody that was involved in that, uh, are they still active right now, or are they still on active duty at least? N not for us. We only had one guy involved, and he's still out on Okay, so he's out because of that incident? Yes. All right. Do you know what officer that is? Uh, Joe DeGeorge. Sergeant. Sergeant DeGeorge. Yeah, so he's he's paid leave right now? Correct. Okay. Yep. And that's been since June? Of since the day. Really? Yep. Okay. Do you know when he's going to be coming back? I do not. No? You know there's a lot of complaints about him, right? No, I did not. From the general public that you may or may not know of? I have not received any. Um, well, I mean, I'll... Over three years, I've never received any. Yeah. Well, that's a big problem because a lot of times when people come here to file complaints, uh, they kind of feel intimidated. You know what I mean? Really? Not here in general. Um, just in police departments. Oh, oh. Uh, I'm not going to put you guys out there. I don't know your complaint process. Um, you oh, know... You Open every day. Yeah, yeah, I've heard some good things about a couple of you guys, and then uh, What's your name again? I'm not going to give that right now. So you want my name, but you don't want to give me your Oh, name. yeah, you're a public servant, man. It's your policy. Absolutely. You know, it's just my right not to. I'm not hiding anything. I wouldn't be out here in the open, you know. It's just your name. That's the only thing you're hiding. I, I may give it to you. <laughs> I'm not hiding it. It's not, for any I mean. it's not for any nefarious purposes, you know what I mean? Right. Um, it's, just, it's just my privacy I, I protect, you know. It, it kind of delegitimizes you a little bit. No. Is it suspicious? Not suspicious. Okay. Well, at least we're not there yet, right? <laughs> Whatever, man. Um, like yeah. Said, so. What complaints are you referring to? In so the complaints that I'm getting is that uh, there's a lot of overtime being uh, stolen from him. Okay. He's sitting in his office for long periods of time, uh, working on policies to enforce, you know, um, stuff like that. Just lo wasting a lot of time. And, and, you know, this is from my own source. Um, it's a good source. You know, it's, and I'm just coming here to enlighten you on the situation. Maybe you want to keep an eye on it. Um, you know, stealing tax dollars, man. If I, same goes for you guys. You know, you guys are held to a higher standard. You know, at times, which is which is fine. You know, you work for the public. Um, it's public safety and such. But when it comes to tax dollars and our money just being wasted, we're not for that. You know what I mean? You got to keep busy, stay busy, do something. And uh, I'm not hearing that. You know, from a few different people. Um, so I'm going to contact... You, uh, you would agree in light of, especially like the shootings, that policies are pretty important, right? Policies are important. Yeah, of course they are. Yeah, I, I, I see policies all the time, pull the records, you know. Um, but, um, yeah, I mean, you know, I'm going to talk to the town manager and um, see if he can uh, look into it a little deeper. I don't know if that's something you want to do. Some some chiefs don't care, man. You know, I, I, I find chiefs out there that do the same thing as he's doing, possibly, you know. And these are just accusations. This isn't, you know... I have no proof on that, but I see it all the time. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I just want to bring that to your attention. Um, you know, tax dollars, are, it's expensive. Mm -hmm. You know, and we got to keep you guys busy. So if there's nothing to do, I was always told, pick up a broom. So I'm just going to take a look down there. Um, like I said, I won't touch anything. Yeah. Um, I won't touch the vehicles, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, I mean, the public is always welcome to check out the cars. Well, the problem is I come to... So I look into the law... You know what I mean? Before I do these type of things. And um, like I said, it says gated and or fenced. Yep. It's not gated and or fenced. Um, and there's no restrictions on the signs, just parking enforcement. Um, so some of those departments, I, I do challenge if they have an issue with it. Um, because some departments do have things to hide. I, I've seen it firsthand, you know, and, and there's a reason why they don't want me back there. And it could be for authority reasons, you know, just because they say no, it means no. Or... No, our thing is long-term parking. Obviously, you know we have people parking. The people that water the plants around. Town yeah. Park. Yeah. If there's an event going on, and you know we have handicapped people parking. Yeah. Obviously, you want to make sure that your vehicles can get out safely right. without anybody being blocked in on an emergency. I get exactly. it. And the, these spots are for the officers to park when they're working. Yeah. Exactly. And exactly. It's full and they got nowhere to park. And I get it. So, yeah, we allow you know parking at certain times. Or okay. Okay, and and that's probably half the reason why you don't have a restricted sign over there is Correct. because we it's not gated. Yeah. Okay. All right, man. Yeah, I'm gonna let you guys get going. Yeah. Take care. All right, yeah, thank you. Yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah. All right, guys. So we have the, as you say, permission to come down here. It does say police vehicles only. Um, like I stated him, the law, it doesn't say anything, um, 
there's no uh, fences or gates. It does say no authorized par unauthorized parking. So that's car number three. I haven't seen those lately. 911 emergency. New Hampshire, town of Pittsfield. Blue Burpee Express. Blue Burpee Express, huh? Got to look into that. So it expires 9.30. 21. Car number six. Car number five. They're all September of 2021. And you have animal control here. They got paw prints all over the vehicles. On most of them, anyway. Let's go up some in Chichester. So they use these for those three towns, apparently. It's a cargo trailer. So they are open and uh, transparent here, and get a little bit of damage on that. They're open to transparency uh, for the most part. Um, like I said, I give the same respect that I get. And um, Pittsfield looks like they're uh, they're passing, and we as the public appreciate that. You got your K9 right here. I don't think he's in here. They have a good sized pen here um, for him to get some fresh air. I think he took his computer in. Got some uh, damage in the front here, too. A lot of painted, uh, some chips of paint. Doesn't look like they take care of their vehicles very well. But I never looked at this. Um, there's just a P there. Vehicles are a little dirty. And uh, there's a lot of, there's uh, some damage on some of them. Not too bad. But there you got your wheeling. So I think that's it. They, uh, they were pretty professional, as far as I've seen. Um, D. George. The sergeant uh, that was involved in the shooting um, apparently was the only one uh, from this department, um, and he is not active as of uh, the day of the shooting. I think it was on the 13th, maybe 14th. So we're going to go inside and take a look around. Yeah, you should probably find an interview room or something. Are you closing me out of here? I'm just just for a moment, just till she's done talking. Well, I have business to conduct, so. Okay, can you just? You need to create done? the privacy for her. Can you? Okay. Well, that is the law. Are you all okay? I don't want to be on camera. I'm not here for her. Okay. All right. I'll go up. Okay. All right. Can you 
call if you need anything. Thank okay. You. What is your name? My name's Anne. Anne, what is your What's your name? What's your position? I am animal control and admin assistant. Animal control. Yes. Right. Thank oh, you. I too. My business cards are up there. I will get one. Thank you. Are you looking for anything else out of me? No, I don't okay. think so. All right. No, but I mean, if somebody comes in here with the camera, she's got to understand there's no expectation of privacy. Well, I understand. I get it. Here, it doesn't. Issue. I get that, but there's interview rooms, I'm sure. No, right? yeah. Well, there you go. You walk in, you got to give us a minute, too. Oh, I did. I stood right out there, you know? So, you guys yeah. know I'm here. You should have already done that. Well, I didn't. You didn't say you were coming inside. I don't have to. Well, I don't know what you're doing. You're, I'm, you know what I'm doing. You're saying. You know what I'm doing, Chief. Yeah, but you're saying I should have known you were going to come inside. Well, no, no, I'm not saying that. Well, you did say I can come inside if I need anything. You knew, I, you knew I was here on the property. But what I'm saying is that I did give you guys a second over there, okay? And you guys should have created privacy and said she wanted to close the door on me and bark orders. And that's not how it works. So expectation of privacy, you know? Well, you, you've heard that saying, your rights begin where someone else's end or vice versa. So sure. I mean, if you were in here talking about something private, yeah. somebody came in, you wouldn't let them... Record you either. No, I didn't say that. You could ask. You know what I mean? But when I come back and say, hey, look, you should probably find an interview room, then you should probably do that. Instead of her trying to close the door and bark orders on me, then you, you need to give the you chance to. Do you understand? She came there, a little strong. She got my face. I mean, well, you know, you, you guys twist. Order, you just said, hey, hold on one second. Yeah, and I told her I wanted no to come in. Denying you access. No, I know that. Hold on one second. Yeah. We're talking to someone about it. Which, I, I mean, I understand privacy, you know what I mean? But it's not for me to create, you know? And that's, that's all. I'm not going to make a bigger issue out of it, you know what I mean? It's very simple. Is there anything else I can help Do you guys have an interview room? Yes, we do. Can I ask where it is? So right. the interview room is right here. Correct. And that just happened? In the lobby? I do you know how many times I deal with this? It, it's, it's just, there's an interview room right there, okay? It's yeah. literally five feet from where they were standing. Yeah. All she had to say was, do you want to follow me into the interview room so we can have some privacy? It's as simple as that. If it was going to be a prolonged discussion, then that With them, happen. yeah. But okay. the discussion was just about over. That was the point when she was trying to leave. And yep. You were coming in. It's, yeah. So you're just, making a little more out of this. No, thing. I don't want to make anything more out of it. It's just, it, it's just very simple. I've done this a hundred times, and I've come into this a few of those times. And sometimes people want to lock the door and close the door and get me out of here because they're dealing with them when there's an interview room five feet away. That's all it is. You know what I mean? Just gotcha. it, That's all. It, it, I'm not, I don't need to stretch it. It doesn't need to be stretched. But you'd, you'd be surprised what I deal with sometimes. So, you know, so that's it. Okay. I appreciate it. All right, you, you, you don't have a business card, do you? I should have one up here somewhere. Yeah? Oh, they're all right here. Yeah, everybody's cards are Look right at that. There. Get too empty. Yeah, we're, we're, oops, we're down uh, to position right now. Are you really? Yeah. For patrol? Or? Patrol, yeah. Two patrols you need? Two patrols. What happened to them? People leave, go down the places. And wow. We actually, uh, the town added a spot, so that's one of them. Okay, so there's just one really, missing. Really, technically one as to our old... Uh, staffing level, yeah, we're down to one. Do you guys have like a lot of turnaround rates here? I mean, no more than anywhere else. I mean, everybody's every basically every industry right now is having trouble. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, uh, we're in police, is police work is no different. Yeah, I mean, no. a lot of police, a lot of police officers are, are, are tired. Well, of, there's a lot of things you can do nowadays to make more money, have better hours. Yeah. So, why would you want to? Nights well, because it's morning. it shouldn't be about the money with the police officer. Well, it should be more about public safety and law enforcement and. Yeah, I mean, to an extent. I, I get I mean, it. You got to be able to make a living too. I, I understand that. You know? But a lot of the problems that I hear about is internal, and that's yeah. the reason they're leaving. You know, um, like I said, I have sources that tell me certain things, um, and, and that's one of them is that people are leaving this police department because of internal issues that they're having. And then they go to another department and then they find the same thing there, you know, uh, policy violations, procedures, uh, overstepping authority, you know, just the whole nine yards, you know what I mean? With a bad police officer and not every police officer is bad. I'm not against the police at all. You know, I, I do find good police officers, chiefs, captains, sergeants, lieutenants, and I find bad, you know, all the way down. Um, you know, so that's what I'm here for. I mean, I'm just kind of keeping you guys accountable, transparent, uh, making sure you respect our rights, and, and that's it.
Yeah. You know? Yeah, well, that we strive to. Yeah. But I mean, if there's anything internal that you guys need to work on to keep you police officers, you know, I suggest that you kind of work on that. You know what I mean? I appreciate the suggestion, man. I Believe me, I do everything I can to keep you guys. Yeah. Go. Cool. All right. Um, yeah, in about, what, last five years, how many police officers have left? I've only been here three. Oh, okay. Where'd you come from? Um, I was actually, I retired from, I was the chief over the government, I retired. Okay. End of 2015. You retired from that department? Or? Yeah, I retired, I had 26 years in. Oh, wow. So I retired. Okay. Stayed out for a couple of years and then... It's got wood. Came up and I grew up here, so. Okay, you grew up in this town. I grew up in Barnsett and I graduated from Crystal High School. Okay. My wife so you know, so you know the area, Absolutely. which is my, great. My wife grew, grew up down in the backyard. Yeah. Here. See, and that's another thing with the police, police officers. I I think that they should at least work in the same town that they grew up in, I, I've lived been in. Here my whole you know, my family had my father's yeah. My parents both graduated. So you still know people in the town probably from when you were a kid. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Yep. And, and that shows, you know, the community and the divide and, yep. and the respect, you know, within the community is because you grew up here. You know the people. You know the streets. Yep. You know the problems. So you know. trust me, I'm doing everything I can. Yeah, no, I'm glad actually. guys and to make this a good place to work. Yeah, it's good that you came from somewhere else where, you know, you didn't grow up and you came back to your town. Because that's something I would do. You know what I mean? I would want to, even if I moved out, I would still want to work in that town. You know, so if I lived in, you know, a different part of, you know, New Hampshire and I was close enough to work in a department that I grew up in, in that town, I, I, that's what I would do. You yeah. know what I mean? It's like if you grew up in Boston, I want to be on the Boston Celtics. Right. I don't want to go to L.A. Right. no matter how good their team is, Absolutely. you know, because what what hits home is is home, yep. you know, and you want to protect that. So I respect that. I do. So, yeah, I mean, I really, I am. Hey, so you're back at it. I love this area and I'm trying to make it better. Yeah. I guarantee you that's, okay. that's my goal. Good. Good. It's it's always good to hear, and I I, I love talking to the chiefs. You know what I mean? Because yep. it always starts from the top. Yeah, oh yeah. You know, and it, yep. it it does work its way down. But um, Wolfboro was horrible. Look at the chief on that video on, on my channel. Oh, you, you'll you'll shit. You know, you'll be like, what the hell is he doing? He's making that town press look. NH? Press NH now, yeah. Press NH now. Yeah, it's on YouTube. Com? It's on YouTube. Oh, it's on YouTube. Yeah, okay. yeah, but I mean, I got a few chiefs. You know what I mean? Um, just kind of. Dean wasn't real friendly with you. You know Dean? I know Dean. I sure do. So we have a chief and a sergeant. Can you take your glasses off, please? Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. I like to so, see some expression. Here's the deal. No, this okay. is not the deal, sir. And you're not going to back me up into a corner. But I want you to stay out of the building. Um, that's can, not a lawful order, sir. Yes, it is. No, it you is know, not. Listen. I'm not going to listen, you chief. You're not going to sit here and tell me what to if do. If you step in a building, I'm going to arrest you. <laughs> that is funny. How do you know Dean? You worked uh, just, with him? Because I used to work in Carroll County. Okay. Back, I was a chief up in Effingham in Carroll County. Okay, so you were a chief in a few different... Yep. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah, no, Dean wasn't... Um, Dean you, didn't you may want to have a talk with Dean <laughs> after you see that video. And I suggest, now that you know him, yeah. I'd probably look at that video. Um, it's on the playlist. Take a look. You don't have to subscribe or anything. You know, I mean, I, I got a lot of police officers that watch my channel. Yeah. Um, a lot of police departments that actually use my videos for training purposes, yep. um, you know, just in general for like rights, um, you know, authority, yep. what they should and shouldn't do, how good and bad they look, you know, it, it does help with their careers because I don't want to be a police officer and then look like Dean over in Wolfboro. That was a horrible video that, that he played a part of, you know, trying mm -hmm. to trespass me out of a building at the town hall for literally video recording just because they felt uncomfortable. You know, and that's not how that works. You can't. You may want to talk to him. You may want to. Well, hey, I'll let Dean handle his own business. Well, no, I get that, but maybe you can just put a word of mouth. You know what I mean? Say, hey, look, I mean, I met the guy, so and so. Whatever you want to do, it could be a private phone call, email, whatever it is. But I would suggest that, you know, if you guys know each other and you're, you know, you're a chief, he's a chief. Put your heads together. You know what I mean? And say, look. I mean, this kid, he's not a pain in the ass. I mean, he may be exercising his rights, but he's allowed, you know, put your own two cents into the video, you know, and talk to him because I'm going to go back over there and we'll see how the ends of again, you know, but it, yeah, that's, that's all I got to say, man. It's funny, right. you know, Dean, that, that's well, fine. Well, I've been around, the, I did my career in this whole, between Belknap. This whole county? Yeah, Belknap, Carroll, yeah. and Merrimack County, so I know a lot of guys in the whole area. 
yeah, yeah. And and there's a lot, there's a lot of good police officers in Chiefs. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? And and, and I've I've seen the other side yeah, too. Most of the guys are, hey, they, they're just trying to do the best they can for their town yeah. and for the people. And All I can say, man, really is is um, community. Yeah. You know, have the cop, have your police get out of their vehicle. You know, go to the local schools. Um, you know, go to the public libraries, go talk to people, walk down the street. Oh, yeah, and we do that. We do walk and talks all the time. We have a Segway that we ride around. Do you town. really? Yep, yep. Okay, yeah. good. And the guys ride around town talking to people. And yeah, and you'd be surprised. Like, in Manchester, I know there's a lot of bike cops, and uh, they actually sign up for the on their own, which is great. And I ask them why. And um, they're like, you know, a lot of people, um, you get more interactions with the community of being on a bike. Somebody will stop and be like, hey, what's going on? Or, hey, there's something happening over there. You might want to go check it out. Yeah, instead, oh, yeah. of, instead of waving down a, a police car going 35 miles an hour, you know what I mean? No, the, the, the Segway patrols are very... Yeah, are they effective? effective? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Good. People love to see us out there. Well, that too. You know, you're getting interaction to the public. And you, we have a good downtown. Our guys do, you know, like I said, walk and talks all the time. Okay. Right. So, we have a good I feel like we have you can go around and talk to citizens. I feel like you have a pretty good relationship. And that's the biggest thing, you know what I mean? Because people you know there's a huge divide with the communities and the police right. and, and you know, that's gotta be broken. The only way you could do that is literally talking. Yeah, we try to it's you know, communication. We try to make that relationship, you know, as, as good as we can. Okay. And all our guys I'm pretty confident all our guys pretty much strive to do that. Yeah. Okay. So well, it's up to you to make sure that's happening yeah, that, too, you know. Exactly, yeah. And so, and this is your town. Right. So, right. I don't think they I don't think they're going to be a, a better position, um, you know, for somebody who grew up here to, to be policing, especially a chief. So, no. you know. Well, hey, you have a good day. Yeah, man. you too, man. If you need anything, let me know. I appreciate it. Thank you. Right. you take care. Have a good one. Okay. So that's it for the uh, Pittsfield Police Department. All right, everyone. So that's it uh, over here today at the Pittsfield, New Hampshire Police Department. I appreciate you guys watching. I did follow up on uh, my sources uh, who told me to come over here. Uh, to ask a few questions and uh, to do an audit and uh, I'll put the articles and um, whatever other information is regarding uh, Pittsfield and its police officers I appreciate all the support guys please like share and subscribe to my channel at press NH now I appreciate it and uh, let everybody know about my activism check out my playlist to see some videos you may not have seen in the past hit that like button and uh, we're going to end it off here. So I appreciate all your support once again. Till the next one, guys. Press an H now. Over and out.